About 3,000 years ago, they found flat weaving technique to cover their tents, their floors, and uh, only wool material they use. You know, nomadic people move a lot from mountain to mountain. They only have their animals with them. So mm -hmm. they use sheep's wool, lamb's wool, sometimes camel hair to make beautiful carpets. This one has no double knots, no Turkish knots on them, just flat weaving, in and out, in and out. And they have no piles, so they are reversible, both sides can be used, ah, you see, okay. in very good condition. And they are easy to complete according to carpets. One professional lady can make something like this in a week time. But if she, we are talking about double knotted carpets like this one, we are talking about months of workmanship. If we talk about the silk ones like this, we are talking about years of workmanship. Because wow, it's this one <laughs> <laughs> Because it's all about the number of knots per square unit area. This carpet has nine double knots per square centimeter. And you are going to see geometrical, bigger shapes. This one is 49 double knots per square centimeter. You are going to see floral designs, you see, more detailed. Mm -hmm. But with the silk fibers, we can make the maximum double knots. Every centimeter square, you know, one square centimeter is like a fingernail, mm -hmm. 100 double knots, 10 by 10. So in a square meter area, it means 1 million double knots. This carpet is 5 square meters, so 5 million double knots to make one single carpet. That's why. Two ladies completed this carpet in two years. For a lot one of work. Yes, for one single carpet. But you appreciate this art and technique a lot that you pass it from one generation to another. In it is true. Years. This is a tradition passing from mother to daughter, from generation to generation, for the last 3,000 years. And this wool carpet, big size wool carpet, is going to be two months workmanship by one lady. But here, two ladies, two years workmanship. The feeling of this one. 100% <laughs> silk. And you know, it's like pixels, like TV screen. If you have more double knots, more detailed picture. This is like 1.2 megapixel, 7.2 megapixel, but this is HD. This is <laughs> <laughs> high definition. Good quality. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have one more collection here. Uh, you see the flat weavings, mm -hmm. double knotted carpets. And we do make tapestries also. To make the tapestries, we make this flat weaving first. We call them kilim. K I L I M. That's kilim. what I wanted to ask yes. you about the kilim. This is, is this kilim. that one? But this is the tapestry on a kilim. Okay. We make this one first. Okay. Just white cotton kilim we make, without any color or design on it, mm -hmm. and we make all the designs on them by using small special needles. And you see, we all tie them up here at the reverse side. It's not reversible, mm -hmm. but it's a nice advantage to use it on the floor. This part will catch the floor and won't move, won't slide. Very good. And then obviously you have the design, the design in front. Yes, the design is this way. This design is known as Noah's Ark design. Mm. Let me turn it upside down. You see all the animals, mm -hmm. two by two. Every village has their own okay. designs, their own colorization techniques. For example, in this village, to obtain the brown colors, they use walnut shells, walnuts. Okay. But in Mila's village, they use tobacco flowers for the brown colors. For the brown. Yes. So the brown will be different, obviously. It is different, yes, as you see. <laughs> Should okay, be, right? it's lighter. This is the village at the seaside. They always choose soft and pastel colors. They have nice weather there. This is coming from the skirt of the mountains. But if you go to up to the mountain, the top of the mountain, Biahilaj Parlak, you're going to see strong and rich colors. Because there are three months almost snow here in this village, three months snow in winter. To make the home atmosphere warmer, they use strong and rich colors. And now this brown here is coming from saffron. They okay. use saffron spice to obtain the brown. This blue is coming from indigo. This blue coming from cobalt. On the border of this carpet, you can see the tobacco flowers. Because they earn their life from tobacco. There is a big tobacco plantation in this area. So they put the tobacco flowers as a design on the carpet. But on this one, you are going to see scorpions. You see this is a scorpion. There is another one. Scorpion means pride and honor in nomadic okay. life. So the designs mean <coughs> a lot. Yes. And now we can appreciate more the value of a carpet and that obviously when we see a design. This is a piece of art you can walk on. Very true. Every little symbol has a meaning, a story behind. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks.